everyone, it's Diane and welcome back to my channel, Scrap Edit Creations. Today I have for you four layouts from the Moments Like These Cut Above kit and a companion kit that I got from Kelly Baxter Fitzgerald. This is the original kit and I worked on today the cover page, January, February, and March. I'm actually doing these more as a album, not a calendar. So you'll see a little bit of differences in mine. Um, like I'm not using these numbers. I'm just kind of focusing on these four pages today. Tomorrow I'll do these three and possibly this one. And uh, maybe even this one if I'm if I have time. It's it's kind of iffy. I've got these three already done for one set of the three. Um, I now have all four of these done for all three of my kids. But yeah, no, these are these are a great kit if you're looking for something quick and easy with all the pieces. You just kind of have to add a little tiny bit here and there. So my first layout of this kit, instead of doing the happy, 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 or having the 2021 that came with it on here, I chose to do adventure. And I believe this was on artistry. I know I cut it on my Cricut today and I cut this arrow. I'm pretty sure it was artistry that I got this off of. I just like the font. It's really just, I like the font. So what I did was I took the base page and I cut the square out of it. So that gave me this piece, this piece, this back piece, this piece, this back piece, and this piece. And then I cut them individually so that I could use them how I wanted to rather than how they were on that page. I then cut out an additional cinnamon and an additional glacier to finish it off. So all of these bases are two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. That's because that's what I got when I cut them off the, the sheet. So I just stuck with that. Um, the background I used was charcoal. That is cut to my eight and a half by 11 and a quarter. The white daisy is eight and a quarter by 11. I did sparkle it with this Fastix Platinum. I, um, I actually have the charcoal uh, shimmer brush coming, but it won't get here until I think Friday is when it's supposed to get here. But my mail has been kind of wonky, so I'm not even counting on Friday. So I just thought, you know what, I want to get this done. So I just used the shimmer. You could kind of see it a little bit there. It's just a little speckle, just a little definition there. So then I just applied these three pieces that came with the kit for the, the cover page. I added some sequins from my stash. I took the happy, happy, happy piece and I covered it with a one and a fourth inch square of charcoal and put the little moments on there because I didn't want happy, happy, happy. It just didn't fit with what I was looking for. Oh, this uh, charcoal piece right here is, let's see, it's six and a half by eight and a half. And I did two of those and it fit nicely. This little piece is also from the kit. Had a lot of fun with this, little hearts um, here and here. Just turned out really cute. And I can't wait to figure out what I'm going to put on this. Kind of thinking about a little trip we took into some, I want to say they're like salt lands or something. Um, I think those pictures would work really well. I just can't remember if I had all three of my kids with me. So that one is that one. This one is January's. It's called Choose Happy. And this one, there, I'm not going to lie. It was a little bit of a challenge to come up with how was I going to use these scallops? What was I going to do with these scallops? And, you know, did I like the scallops? That was another thing. So what I ended up doing was cutting this piece out of the base page for the kit. I cut it, I fussy cut the front of it, the bottom of it, and I cut it at three inches. I then took 
all of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these scallops, and I cut them at, I know it was six inches for the first one, because this page is six inches, and then two and a half and two. And then I took the white daisy paper and I adhered them so that they fit nicely on that page. And then I held this one up and I did this one, held this one over here and did this one, matted it after I did that onto the bluebell paper. And I, I thought, okay, yeah, I like it. I like it with the bluebell. It's pulling some of this blue, these blue tones out, which is of course my favorite color from last year. This piece right here is blue, bluebell at 4.25 by 10.75. So four and a quarter by seven, seven and three quarters. And then I have three photo mats on that. I popped the choose happy. I added the love. I then put the four here. And because this ends right here, I left these connected-ish. They're like just butted up together. You could just cut one piece right there to kind of cover up that connection. And then I added in this piece here. It's a little loose just so that I can, I can do stuff if I want to. I can like write on it and then maybe pop it up or curl it or something. So that is the January layout. Again, Choose Happy is the title for that one. The next one is February. That's one of the pages. And here's the other. Really liked this one. It was a lot of fun to work on. So I used Peacock on this one. And then matted the, the photo mats in Peacock as well. There's six of them at three by four. White Daisy. And then put this... this uh, pattern from the kit and to get this for both pages what I did is I cut it I cut the grayish it's kind of a grayish white piece off the top I'm not using that um, and then cut this piece that was left to eight and a quarter and then I cut it in half so each of these are four by eight and a quarter and it works well works fantastic for this layout added in the little flags from the kit and the stickers. I popped this heart and this heart completely. This heart is pop taped here and here and regular tape here, pop tape here, pop tape here and here, but regular tape on the other as to not add too much dimension on this layout. This one just has pop tape here and here and then regular tape there. Stickers here. This came from this little banner and then these were some journaling stickers that they included in the kit. Really like those and I staggered them so that they would look, you know, not quite too perfect. Just a fun little layout. I had a lot of fun with that one. The next one was super simple. I I'm, was surprised when I looked at this at first, I thought, oh goodness gracious, what am I gonna do? So the background on this one is avocado. Then I took the pattern paper and I cut it down to 11 so that we would have a small border around. And then I cut it in half. And I put it on this page and I put it on this page and I fell in love. I, I'm not a big green person. Well, I love sage. I love uh, evergreens, those types of hunter green type things. I'm not as big on the avocados, but I think that this turned out fantastic. It's a fun layout. Um, I'm sure I have some fun pictures of my kids when they were little for this one. I did pop the word amazing. I added those little hearts down here. I, I just loved them. They were so cute. I popped the three flowers. I cut off this little bit of leaf here, and then I glued it on top of that. These are glued flat, glued flat. I put six photo mats on. I used Glacier, so they're all three by four. And then I got out my Bluebell shimmer pen. And boy, did I have fun. Look at that shimmer. I think you can see it. I can kind of see it. So I shimmered all these little flowers. I didn't shimmer the hearts, just the flowers. And I thought it looked really, really pretty. Had a really fun time doing this layout. 
So tomorrow, or the next set that I'm going to do again, will be the You and Me, Lovely Days, Happy and Bright, Celebrate for the 4th of July, and possibly this summer one, but definitely up to this one. And then the next day, if I don't, whichever day I share this on, it'll be, but the next day will be these last four. And that'll complete this calendar kit. It was a lot of fun to play with this. Um, they're still available, actually. I was surprised that this one was still available as well as the current year. So if you liked what I did and are looking forward to or looking for a fun kit to do, this is a really good one to buy. I would grab it before it's all gone. So that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow.